Hey, this is Pat with Off the Maps, and today I wanted to do a quick tutorial to show you how to create a 3D trail map. Um, by the end of this, and maybe after 30 minutes or so, um, I think anyone watching this video can make a map like you're seeing in front of you here. Okay, so we're going to start by creating a GPX route, um, which is another way of saying a trail. It's uh, just how um, the software is going to read the trail. And we can do that using a website called mappy.cz. This is a really great um, check tool. Uh, that you can use actually anywhere in the world. Uh, so you can see we went to mappy.cz, but we will go to Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. Um, it's a village in the United States. <laughs> and uh, we will do a very quick and easy, it's about like a, a few miles or I think 2.2 kilometers uh, of a trail where, where we'll just go to the top of this ridge and then kind of descend here and go back down to the bottom. So now that we're here, uh, we're going to create this GPX route by going to the Directions tab, um, kind of clearing everything out it started us here with, so we don't want any end, we don't want any start, and we want to be sure that we're on this by foot um, uh, option here. Um, I know this area very well, so I know you can kind of park down here, so let's say we start at this Sam Miller Field. That will be our uh, start point, or point one. This is very similar to many other uh, tools that you can use to create GPX routes. I just really like doing this um, with Mappy because it's free and you don't, even need a, you don't even need an account to do it. And so now we can enter another waypoint. So we'll go up to the top where this vista is. And then we'll add a few more points. We'll go to here. And then go down this uh, wagon road trail and then add one more point to go back down to the bottom here. And that can be our complete trail, so 2.2 kilometers, 54 minutes, sounds good to me. Um, we need uh, to do one more step here, and that is to export the GPX file. Uh, so let's click here, export, and now we have a new GPX file that will be added to our downloads folder in Windows. So that's all for step one. Um, I should mention uh, quickly that you could print directly from Mappy. Uh, so you can see here, you can print or download as image, so you could use this to do it. Um, in this tutorial, I want to do a little bit more customization, um, so we'll go into that in the next steps, but if you just want to print it as is, you can do that so here. The next step will be to uh, take this GPX file and actually load it into another service called Mapbox, and we'll use Mapbox Studio to create the 3D elements and do a little bit of style customization. Um, you will need an account with Mapbox, um, but it is free. Um, so I guess before watching this next part, make sure that you have um, an account and are signed up and logged in. So here we will go to mapbox.com. And I'm already logged in, so I can go to account. And we will go to studio. We'll create a new style. What's really nice about Mapbox is they give you a, a lot of templates that you can work with. Since we're going to do like an outdoor map, um, I'm going to use the satellite images. Uh, you could also do outdoors, which would be really useful as well. But let's go to satellite streets here. And then if we click on this customize satellite streets, it will actually bring us to Mapbox Studio. So at this point now we have a GPX file that we created with, um, with Mappy and we have a base map um, from Mapbox Studio. So let's uh, make sure we go to our location now that we're in Mapbox. So it's kind of defaulting to some location in California. Uh, you can use this search icon up here and we can go to Jim Thorpe um, again. So Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. And here I am in my relative location. And next I'm going to actually upload uh, my GPX file. So I did download that and export it from, um, from Mappy before. And I just want to give this a name because I'll probably sa save it elsewhere. And we'll call this Jim Thorpe uh, Pisgah Trail or something like that. And now we'll upload it to Mapbox. And to do that, you will go to Layers. We'll go to Add New Layer, Upload Data. And then all we need to do is drag and drop that GPX file there. And click Confirm. And you'll see here in the notifications, it's going to upload. This should just take a few seconds. Um, and then we will continue. As you can see here, um, this has now uh, successfully uploaded. That's the GPX file that we created with Mappy. Now we'll just need to input it as a source. So where it says source none selected, uh, we'll just need to search for that trail. So I'll type in trail. Um, let me add a little bit more Pisgah. 
Actually, I should type in Pisgah. There it is. We'll add in the tracks. And we'll just need to switch the type um, to a line. You can see right now it's added as a fill here. Uh, so let's change this. We can click on type and go to line. And now it will start to look a little bit more like a trail. And now that we have that in and loaded, we can go in and style it. So currently it's just a black uh, line with a stroke of one. So let's make that red. Uh, let's increase the width to maybe three points. And we'll make it dashed here uh, using the standard gap um, and length just so it looks a little bit more like a, uh, a trail and it stands out against the rest. And um, yeah, that, that's it. That's the trail that's in. And so the next step will to be actually turn this into a 3D map. So if you hold in your, uh, your right mouse button and go like this and, and kind of drag it forward, it will actually take you down like this so it is in sort of a 3D um, view. But you'll notice that the terrain is not yet extruded. In order to access that, we'll just go to the top right here uh, where it says 3D. Let's click on 3D, 3D terrain, and we just need to enable it. And you'll see that will pop up here, and now we can start to see um, how much elevation we're gaining um, as we ascend this mountain on this little view here. Uh, this is in Pennsylvania, so the mountains are a little bit rounded. I'm going to add um, a little bit of exaggeration just so we can see just how much we're going up. And that looks a little bit better. Not that it's as realistic, but you can at least get a better sense of how, how much we're ascending. And we can do other fun things like perhaps add in some fog here. Uh, that just will make it so we don't see this transparent background way back there. So let's add in a little bit of fog. That looks good. And uh, now at this point we could basically print this map uh, just going to this print button. Uh, but I want to add in a few more details just to make it a little bit more useful as a map. Um, so when we're out on the trail, let's say that we actually print this out. Um, from this view, we can't really see these trails here that are in black by default. So I think I'll actually just turn those to white. So to restyle those, um, you actually just need to, to zoom all the way in. And if you click on them and you get to the right location, you'll see that this has satellite, background, and road path. So what we want to do is find this road path, which you can click on right there, and then just style it differently. So right now the color's black. Uh, let's just change it to white. I think we can just drag this up here. Oh, we just need to click this override button. We'll go to white, and uh, yeah, that's it. So now we can see that a little bit better. Um, and we can see how our red trail is standing out against it. Um, and so now that we have that styled and we can see the trails a little bit better, we'll just need to find a good view angle um, before we print this. I toyed around with this a bit to kind of get a, a good view angle here, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with this and the amount of clouds that we have. So um, if you click on expand, you can get a, a pretty decent preview. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, it kind of shows these clouds in the background. You can see the lake a little bit, so it gives us a little bit of area context while knowing exactly how much will go up this hill and, and down. I think this will be a very good hiking map that will probably be a lot easier to use than any just normal overhead map. So I'm going to go ahead and export this now. And you can see here, 99 exports remaining. Um, again, congratulations if you ever get through all of those. So now in our downloads folder, we'll have our new map. Okay, now that we have our map downloaded, we can just simply open up this PNG. And you can see we have our um, eight and a half by 11 or roughly A4 sized uh, map that we could print out and uh, take with us out in the field. Um, I hope this was kind of useful to all of you. I think you can really create interesting and quick maps that are more useful than most overhead uh, maps. And you can do it, you know, as we did in probably under a half hour here. Um, and you don't even need to purchase any proprietary tools. So it's, it's really a, a, a marvel of technology that you can do this nowadays. Um, if you would be interested in seeing kind of more complex ways to uh, create this map to make it look a little bit better, you can see that there's a few um, labels that are mushed in the background. Uh, there are ways that we could fix that quite easily. Um, just let me know in the comments and I can make another video about that. Um, or like and subscribe to this video and I'll just make them naturally. Uh, another step that we could take is to basically put this in Adobe Illustrator and, and pretty it up as, uh, as needed. Um, but for now, I'll leave it at this. Um, I hope this was a useful tutorial. 
to show you how you can create your own hiking routes um, using mappy.cz anywhere in the world, and then upload those into Mapbox Studio to create your own custom 3D maps and then print it out and use it in the field. Um, thanks again for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this.